It definitely started Monday. Uh, Coach V kind of just uh, challenged us all week. He's is one of the rougher weeks in practice. He just wanted us to uh, thud up all the scout team reps, which takes a toll on you. But um, it, it needed to be done, and I think it really showed the preparation that we had uh, Saturday. I thought we were very physical at the line. Uh, our D line did a great job penetrating and it just really opened up the gaps for us, and it just made it a lot easier than it. Uh, than it is for other teams that just kind of play side to side. When our guys penetrate, it makes the holes uh, very clear, and then we just uh, shoot them and just give it the best we got. <laughs> they do their best. Uh, they do a great job just uh, bringing the mindset and the effort every day. Um, and we just kind of try to keep encouraging them. They come from um, over here in Power Hour, so it's very tough on them, but they try their best. and. Um, uh, just we just got to get good quality looks. It might not be the best look, but it's just got to be quality. So they do their job, and uh, we really appreciate them. And it really pays off for us on Saturdays. Yeah, it was really good. I was uh, I was in the box majority of the night, um, playing against the tight ends, man to man, and then uh, just fitting up the run and uh, reading the reading the box, the uh, guards and stuff. So it, that's a lot of fun for me because it's just different. And um, it's kind of what I did in high school. So just seeing the pullers just kind of like, you know, just riles me up a little bit. So I'm, I get really excited about it. And um, I just had a lot of fun Saturday. Um, they've done a really good job. We were in a three-man front most of the year. And it kind of um, got them all tore up a little bit. So uh, just having them uh, just grow into and having that four-man front, they're really um, starting to enjoy it and uh, have their little fun now. Um, but th it was a young group, and uh, Niles and Jordan in the in interior, they did a, a great job of getting them guys ready. Tyler Davis is just uh, looking incredible right now. And our DNs are doing a great job, with, especially with XT that went down. A lot of production was lost from him uh, not being there in the last couple weeks. So just seeing them guys rise to the occasion has been uh, awesome, and um, it's made it a lot easier on the back end. <laughs> That's my dude. Um, it was great. I was just thinking in my head, like the song, dun, 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 just ch -ch -ch -ch, him running. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I could think about. So someone's going to have to uh, clip that up for him. It was great. It was great. Yeah. You've had a couple scores in your career. As a team, you have three this season. Are you feeling you're one of the more opportunistic defensive guys there? Um, I think uh, just. Being around the ball, I think when you watch our guys, there's always more than one hat around the ball. So when you get that, I think that's, uh, like you said, opportunistic. Uh, it becomes more apparent uh, when you got more guys around the ball and then tips or picks. We had a lot of tips uh, this season. That's done a great job uh, for the D-line just getting their hands up for the quick game and stuff like that. So I think we've done a really good job just being around the ball. And uh, that's what just, it just pays off, just effort. That's what it really comes down to. Tanner, the defense around here has been able to do so many great things for so many years. Is it any more gratifying this season that you guys answered some of the questions people had coming into the year and are playing at this kind of elite level? Um, I wouldn't say proving people uh, wrong or anything like that. I think the standard is set from the 2014 team, which was the best defense we've had here. Uh, I think that's the standard, and uh, we just keep on striving to get to that standard. I know we were the best scoring defense last year, where they had like eight or eight to ten uh, number one places in, de in total defense. It was uh, ridiculous. So that's the standard, and we're always trying to get to that standard or better. And um, I think that's what it really comes down to. Coach V just challenges us in that way, I guess. Kayvon was saying that. this could be the, the best defense that's come through here. Is that? Like you guys have a chance to set that standard and, and kind of change it. It's it's hard to see who the best defense is of, or for the Clemson um, in the past couple of years. You know, because at the end of the day, it comes down to stats. Everybody just wants to know what the stats are, but nobody really looks like how the games are managed as a defense when you get stops and things like that. Because when you put in subs and stuff like that, things can get skewed in certain kind of ways, and um, so it's a really if you want to talk about the best of the best, it really just comes down to uh, managing games and things like that. So you got to take that into perspective. And uh, nobody will really know except for the guys in, in these uh, meetings and things like that. But I think we've done a great job so far. But, um, you know, 
it, it all comes down to stats for the outside world to see who the best of the best is. But we kind of know that we have an opportunity to be one of the best, and um, we just strive to get there every single week. You mentioned the three down line sets and the defensive linemen. Um, mm -hmm. Can you tell that kind of bothered them some that they were playing so much, or did they say anything <laughs> about wanting to play more court? They might have said something, but they ain't going to let Coach V know. <laughs> you know, they're going to do what they're told, like everybody else, uh, because he's just, he's just going to put us in the best position. But um, I think they have a little bit more fun with that four down or four man front. So um, it, I guess it's, it's up to them. They can um, they can make the next couple weeks for them, or they can make it for us on the back end. So uh, we'll see how they um, keep going. Last year it was all about the front line, all the publicity. This year it's kind of man boy comes to secondary is out of this world. Does that make anything extra to you guys? You're kind of the the leaders or the guys that are getting more of the of the pub this year. Um, I think it's. Um, it's just a different dynamic uh, leading from the back end. When you got guys leading from the front, it's kind of more of the trenches, and um, that's what you see more often with the D-line and the linebacker core. But with the back end leading, it's just a different dynamic. Um, it's just <laughs> – it's hard because as a, as a DB, you're just, like, really aggressive. You take no crap and all that stuff. So you just try to bring everybody with you on that, you know. It's just a different mindset as a DB. So – um, I don't really know if that answers your question, but it's just different. Um, it's a nice difference, more more swag, I guess. You know, the D-line, they're kind of just big, heavy set, kind of <laughs> sloppy guys. Um, and then you got the back end, you got swag, you look good, you play like just, it's just different, it just flows better. Would you ever tell Cleveland Farrell that? When was yeah, I tell him that all the time. I said, you didn't have any swag when you were here. You thought you did, but your play just made everybody think you had swag, you know, but yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Y'all giving up some, some late garbage touchdowns late in games, um, but you were able to keep them off the scoreboard late in the game on Saturday. How much do you all impress that upon the, the backups? Like, hey, y'all got to keep our stats, keep your score. Well, we don't really worry about it. Um, like I said, the outside world uh, worries about stats and all that stuff. We just worry about playing well. But there is some pride because you don't want people to score on you as a defense. It's just a, a pride thing. So when that happens, I just kind of get in people's grills like, Look, I mean, it's, it's, it's not okay to just give up plays because you're not prepared. You got to come in and prepare as a starter every single week. It don't matter if you're the backup or the backup's backup or the backup's backup's backup. It doesn't matter. There, there's a standard set by Coach Sweeney and the staff that you have got to be prepared and play your best. And if you're not doing that, then you don't need to be out there. So if that's the case, just st tell us and we'll stay out there. So if people aren't prepared, it just really just it just bothers us because we prepare so hard for those Saturdays, and if the if somebody else is in there, we, we expect the standard not to change. It needs to stay the best, you know. Tanner, how much do you guys know about Lockett? Uh, not as much as uh, we've known about triple option teams in the past, uh, because the staff it's going to be a tricky week because they do so much. Um, it's very diverse. When you get teams like this, they do it. They just do so much because they. It just, it's just trick them and, you know, um, with that scheme, it's just so hard. If one guy's out of position, it's a big play. So we've really got to be uh, tight-knit this week and just have a really good week of preparation, and uh, hopefully it pays off. Does some of the work that you guys have done in past years against teams like Georgia Tech help this week? I think these teams like Wofford and then Furman and uh, Citadel, they do a lot more um, – diverse stuff in their packages because they um, they may not be as skilled but they're a lot more diverse in their offense um, might not be as big up front so they got to do different things to move move guys around so it's, it's I think it's harder from a mental standpoint to prepare for teams like this so it's going to be uh, a very tough week for us do you like these kind of games on the schedule I know fans and outsiders want to point to well look they're playing an FCS team everybody plays FCS teams yeah do you like playing those kind of opponents and seeing maybe from the other side that, hey, those guys get a chance to play one of the top teams in the country? I don't know. If, I, I don't think it really matters for us. Um, I think it's a good opportunity um, for everybody. Um, I, I don't know how the money situation works, things like that, but uh, I guess it's good for them to get money and things like that. So I think that's a positive of this game. But uh, it's a positive for us, too, because we got to be prepared and focused. It's hard to win on Saturdays. So if you're not bringing your best, then then things happen that, that you don't want to happen, obviously, with uh, losses and things like that. So um, we got to prepare like it's 
just another game, you know. So it's, it's very difficult, and, and uh, this game is very demanding. And if you don't treat it with respect, you will get ex exposed. Dabble last night described Logan uh, as being one of the more respected guys in the locker room. Could you speak to that a little bit? Maybe give us some insight as to his personality. <laughs> his personality, yeah. yeah. Um, he is very uh, – he might come off as shy and standoffish, but he is very – uh, enthusiastic. He uh, he just he just relentless, you know, as a football player, and I think that's where he gets his respect from. He doesn't take many plays off, but uh, personality-wise, he's just uh, ridiculous. I know y'all have probably seen his uh, Instagram post, Coach Stiff. Uh, his impersonation, if you haven't, you need to go watch it. Is uh, it's good stuff. But he does that all the time. He'll send me these just ridiculous videos all the time of him like performing these skits and stuff like that and it is uh i'd love to share them with y'all but some of them weren't very uh <laughs> family friendly you know <laughs> but they are funny and he is uh he's definitely um an asset to the locker room keeping everybody's spirits up yeah, De devil also said that he's kind of a, he's the, the, the uh, saturday's game was tailor made for him because even though he's undersized that he liked the, the, the physical aspect of going against a team like bc Kind of a I mean, is he just one of the tougher guys kind of on the roster maybe? Yeah, he's just one of them guys that doesn't really um, – I mean, he cares about his body, obviously, but he just throws his whole body into whatever he's doing. So that's just uh, aggressiveness, uh, using his hands. He's probably got – he uses his hands probably the best on the team, just being able to get off blocks and just uh, stay alive. Um, he is obviously undersized, but he, it doesn't, he doesn't lack any effort, aggressiveness,